You have no ID, nothing. You can't give me no name, nothing. Next time yeah, it man. comes about, then I actually did tell you my name earlier, though. Yeah, my name, identification, ID. Oh yeah. Person, last name, and all that. Nah, man. Don't have none of that. I appreciate you though, bro. I know you just doing your job and shit. Yeah. I'm not mad at you. This is one of the suites I grew up in. This was kind of one of the more uh, less visited suites, I guess you could say. Um, but I guess this is one of the worst ones, you feel me? That's why the album is called The Sweet Life of Dylan Jacob, is because this is where I really grew up. One bedroom, studio apartments. Uh, these apartments are probably about the size of your living room, the whole apartment. Bathroom, kitchen, everything included. So. Definitely very, very humble beginnings. I try not to forget where I come from. Every now and then I like to, you know, run back through here, revisit the old times, the past and shit. Really, this place is important to me because I value the fact of not forgetting where you come from. 10 people, one bedroom, sleeping on the floor, five people to a mattress, budget sweet life. You know what I'm saying? This is my sweet life. And it still keeps the sweet hey, do a couple more of those? Yeah. Let me look at the camera. I never want to be here again. I knew from a young age that I had to do whatever I had to do to hustle, to grind, to make money, to do whatever to get out of here, to not be here anymore, you know what I'm saying? This was a place meant only to be here for a week. And I lived here for 13 years. So that just goes to show you, man, you can't be complacent, you can't be stagnant. I feel like that's what this helps me with the most, is just remembering not to be stagnant, don't be complacent, because this is where I'm gonna end up. When I was a kid, I could never imagine getting out of here. I lived here my whole life, so I felt, I felt like I was gonna be here forever. But I think that it's important for us to remember that no matter where we get to, no matter where our low is, we're always going to come back and we're always going to be able to get high. You know what I'm saying? Fremont. It's my block. You feel me? The block is not very hot right now. Fremont is where it all started. Fremont, if it wasn't for Fremont, I wouldn't be rapping right now. And if it wasn't for Fremont, I definitely wouldn't be as good as I am right now. Because it gave me a place to showcase my skill and not only do that, but also get paid and feel like <clears throat> I was better than I was even at times because I had this blinding confidence that was caused from money, that was caused from, you know, things that actually didn't matter that I placed importance on in my life, you know what I'm saying? So I think that Fremont really just has prepared me. I like to call my fans Delenials. That's not because I'm a millennial myself. I was actually born in 2001. But a Delenial is not someone that is determined by their age or their gender or their color. A delennial is someone who just wants to see others, especially their loved ones, succeed. And that's what I feel like I want my fans to be. If there's anything I want my fans to know, I just want them to know that, you know, people go through things. Everybody goes through things. I go through things, you go through things. But just because we are in a certain place in our life now doesn't take away from our character as a whole. So you can't stop loving me because you might not agree with something I'm doing. My next project really is everything y'all been waiting for and more, you know what I'm saying? I've been going dumb hard, we've been going stupid, just countless hours in the studio, making sure that shit can sound great, the best that it possibly could sound. 
The name of my project is The Sweet Life of Dylan Jacob. This is a project to show you where I've started and where I am now in my life. You know what I'm saying? I've put everything into all of my songs and everything is either a real experience I've had or something that I've witnessed myself firsthand. So it's really just a compilation of the growth that no one has seen in four or five years. Cause I really try not to talk about things too much. I just do things. I'd have to say my favorite song is A Letter. I really put a lot of time and thought and energy into that song. And really, I feel like it's one of the most meaningful tracks on the album. It's definitely um, something that I feel like can hit home with everybody. We've all been in a situation, whether it's a parent, a romantic connection, a friend, where we feel like we love somebody more than somebody loves us, or they don't love us in the way that we want to be loved and we feel that they don't love us at all. Y'all can expect a letter. A letter is gonna drop September 24th. So expect a letter September 24th. If you don't get this song though, I promise you, you're gonna be missing out. There's, there's a lot of work we're putting in on this on every end. I try to really take inspiration from everything I see in life. And whether it's artistry or not artistry, I try to be inspired by everything I see, whether it's the sun coming up in the day, my family, my friends, whatever it is. I try to take inspiration from everywhere. But artist-wise, if I had to pick three people that really influenced my musical direction for this album, I feel like it would definitely have to be Russ, Kevin Gates, and like Drake. I feel like Drake is what every artist should strive to be. <laughs> like when it comes to sonics and like biometrics of the music, Drake has like pristine sound. I want my fans to know that y'all matter as much as I matter and we are no different. You know what I'm saying? Just because I'm over here on this video or I rap on a stage or I got music out and I write music, that doesn't make me any different from you. We are all humans and we all deserve to be alive and not only be alive, but live our life, not just tolerate being alive. You can be anything, you know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to be what you want to be or be who you feel like you are at this point in time because that doesn't mean that you have to be that forever you know i think a lot of people are scared to take risks they're scared to do different types of music they're scared to venture out and go do clothes or do music in the first place because of what other people might think of them but at the end of the day fuck other people you know what i'm saying i think that just as this album was for me I think if y'all have a passion for something, you need to go do it because you're passionate about it. A lot of people on this album were telling me, oh, we just want all rap music. And I was like, man, I can't do it though. Cause that's not really what spoke to me at that time. I was, you know, there was times where I was writing songs and I was going through different vibes and like rap music didn't speak to me like a, a singy pop song would have spoke to me at that moment. You know what I'm saying? Or it didn't relate the the feeling I was trying to get over. So I think the biggest takeaway from my album that I want everybody to get is just be yourself. Make sure that you don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. Do everything for you and because you like to do it and you love to do it. And don't let your situation or your friends or anybody's opinion or outlook change your motives, motivation in life and like your path. I need you to go to all my social medias, Dylan Jacob Music at everything except for TikTok. That's for Dylan Jacob. We're gonna put a link, you know what I'm saying? So y'all can click over, get right to it. I need y'all to follow me. If you don't already, I need you to check out all my content I'm finna drop. I'm finna drop mad content. We're about to go crazy. Giveaways, I have merch dropping. We have an album on the way. The album comes out my birthday, December 18th. I turned 19 this year. And we finna give you a crazy album. I just need y'all to pay attention. Watch. Why do you not care for me? Loving you, not loving me, embarrassing. I don't think that shit you do is fair to me. I done seen it all, so I don't even think you gon' be there for me. Sad you say you love me, you don't change me. Now if I lose the love and you see me from the other side, on the stage screaming, fuck the other guys if they want.